Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here in the Afropolitan Experience. I am George Okamari, your founder and host, and you are tuned in to another edition of Five in Five. Five questions in five minutes with interesting people who are making Africa shine. She is a PR specialist and an entrepreneur, Ms. Yatunde Taiwo. Thank you so much for joining us here in the Afropolitan Experience. Thank you for having me. No okay, cool. So let's get started. Uh, who is Yetunde Taiwo? I am an entrepreneur, multidimensional creative individual. I am in anything business is very exciting to me, um, from fashion to corporate PR uh, to entertainment. So overall, I would say I'm an entrepreneur with very many skills. Pretty cool. Yeah. I see PR. Mm-hmm. ICPR is my PR company um, that I started in 2007 and the intent is to represent small business owners that are on a budget uh, that also want to go global. So it's truly international PR. We get press um, in Africa, North America, Europe, uh, the islands, the Caribbean and Latin America. So if you're a small business in the fashion and entertainment industry and you want international coverage where you're not restricted to your local area, that's where ICPR comes in for you. Okay, real cool. So on being an African woman and an entrepreneur. Hmm, that's like three topics, you know, being African, being <laughs> a woman and being an entrepreneur. So I would say um, being, first of all, a woman um, is, is, you know, an amazing how do you say experience to be able to have compassion for things we do um, so it's not always strict business like men would be uh, being African is tying in that culture of connection um, with other people and um, it's more uh, how do you say social communication in, in regards to your relationship it's not so corporate uh, let me give you an example I have a client in Nigeria who when we signed, you know, kept it corporate, it's very clean, it's all business talk. And at some point, the client started calling in just to say hello. Well, that's very unusual in American business because it's all business. Sure. Um, and so helping me remember that being African is not just about the business, it's about a relationship. Right. And so I think being a, a woman, African entrepreneur, is being able to have compassionate relationships with my clients um, while also being professional. Um, but also being able to give them what they need and still developing a very personal relationship with them. Interesting. So what does it mean to be African in the 21st century? Ooh, that's a loaded question, you know. It means a lot of things um, because, you know, our generation that we're very, how do you say, uh, not just vibrant, we're very obsessive of everything. You know, we want to get into everything, we want to learn, we're coming up with great new ideas, you know, we're innovators, we're leaders. Um, and followers, because obviously, uh, you know, just because you're a leader and a follower doesn't mean the opposite of a leader is a follower. The follower is going in, in the same direction as a leader. Sure. So I think in the 21st century, um, being African is, is such a privilege because we're rooted in Africa, right. but we're connected to the rest of the world. So we're influenced by the West, uh, by the East. But when you go back to source, we can tell you truly, I'm African. And I know what that means um, more than just a word. So it's it's a privilege and an honor to be African in this century. Cool. What's next for you? <laughs> project. Some of them I can't talk about. <laughs> okay. But um, what's next is I, I I think we've gotten to a point, at least with my brand, where uh, now we want to expand. So possibly looking for um, looking at offices. Um, in Europe and in Africa and, okay. and who knows, maybe Nigeria or Ghana, still trying to decide. Cool. Um, but definitely expanding to a place where, where you know, our niche is small businesses. Right. And there's so many small businesses now with the economy that it's something we want to be able to provide service to them, to the North, to Asia, to Latin America, but there's so many people that have great products that don't know how to get it out and we want to be able to have access to them. So by being in other countries, that's a plus for them, that's a plus for us, so it's a win-win. Right. So that's what's next, expansion of ICPR. Pretty cool. Well, hey, Yajane, thank you so much for joining us here in the Afropolitan Experience. Thank you for having me. It was, it was great. It was a pleasure. So we'll definitely keep up with you and your progress. All right. You have a great day. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody.